either. This video might be a little bit uh, inciting. Uh, it's not inciting violence at all. That's not the purpose of it. But uh, basically, uh, if you're in the US right now, you have uh, private corporations uh, which are private. You have a government which is now private. Uh, let's be. Uh, let's just face it. You have a president which is uh, completely owned because it's an individual, very easy to own by a whole group of people that collude and, and make sure that he believes something or not. And then you have the public, which is completely disenfranchised, as they say. You're disenfranchised. Well, it sounds like a permanent state, but of course it isn't. You can just re-enfranchise yourself. Uh, I watched this video about the occupation of uh, Wall Street, and it disappointed me a little bit. And But I can understand what's going on, because these people don't, don't really know what they're showing up for. They don't know why they're there, uh, what they should do there. And uh, so let me make a very simple one-point uh, task uh, schedule for the next... Uh, for the next occupation of Wall Street, which will be uh, next, uh, uh, in, uh, let's say, well, it's in October. In October, you have to put a date on it. I'll put it on top of this video. Occupy Wall Street again, uh, but now uh, with effect. A simple, very simple task schedule is uh, remove everybody from their offices, evacuate all offices on Wall Street. No people working there at all. Why? Well, because you don't want them to work there. You don't want these people to do the job. Let's say if you are in a, in, a, in a system where you have, or in a little village where you have a, a baker and a butcher and a smith and a shoe maker and, and then you have, let's say, the psychopathic uh, killer with his uh, workshop and, and mart uh, and, 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 uh, and torture tools, then you can all decide as your village to simply go to the to the workshop of the psychopathic killer with the torture tools and say, well, listen, Mr. Psychopathic Killer with the torture tools uh, and 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 no uh, uh, poison and sleeping pills to uh, to uh, to to drug people and and and, and you know, be able to start torturing them, you know, close down your shop. Please, uh, you know, uh, we'll take all the torch tools, we'll uh, make something else out of them, and we'll use your shop for a flower shop, because we haven't had one, and uh, you just go fuck off. Get the fuck out of here, and uh, get <laughs> take, your, take, your, take your conscience that's not working with you, or your superiority complex, or your van vanity, which makes that you don't empathize with what you're doing, which makes that you don't understand that it's not about being the strongest and being superior it's about cooperating and making sure that everybody is happy if you're that type of person well we'll just all we send everybody like that to Haiti and, uh, and, and uh, or, or to some other island <laughs> preferably one of those islands that is about to disappear under the ocean um, that's what you need to do why? Well, there are several reasons, and I can explain. And uh, and it's also very easy. You just take 20,000 people, and you can remove everybody from Wall Street and the surrounding area. You can just... Uh, Ma Lower Manhattan can be completely vacated uh, with the power of enough people. You just have to show up and know what to do, and then do it. So nobody's going to shoot you. Uh, and, and these people are happy to go, because they're decent people. <laughs> that's the whole paradox of course they all think they're very decent and nice and considerate and they all think they understand society as a whole but they don't understand that what they're doing is criminal uh, so why, are, why, why should you do that? well, first of all you don't want to have money creation ability in the hands of private companies that is just an invitation to, uh, to, uh, to, for fraud for, for crime for, for lies for... Uh, you know, it's always about the future. Tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, we'll sell gold futures, silver futures. We sell, we sell stocks of com companies that are going to be great. Uh, we are going to develop this, we're going to develop that. We have a patent, which is going to make a lot of money. It's all about the future. It's all about promises and lies. And they're monetized. They're turned into money, and those, that money comes into circulation, into your economy. And suddenly, whatever you work for uh, loses its value. Because there's so much money around, people say, okay, if you want to have your raw materials, you have to have more money, because there's so much money coming from Wall Street being spent on in this economy, we're going to have inflation. And, and, and It's influencing you, it's influencing your life, but it's based on nothing. It's just based on stealing. Like, I, I give you a, a, a dog turd, and you give me your, uh, let's say, your, your car. That's the way banks work, but they, like, if I make it the good dog turd, that sounds a little bit horrible. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but I give you a uh, a paper airplane, 
and I write on it, this paper airplane is worth a million dollars and, and, and you one day will you, you get a real, real airplane in return for this paper airplane. And I give to you and you believe that. Uh, then, uh, and I can take your car and drive around and have lots of women and all this stuff, uh, you know, have a lot of fun with it. Then it might profit because both our lives are short, but your life is wasted and my life is going to be fine, perfect, because I lied to you. And I promise you something. And if that's if that's in the hands of private companies, you know, it's just an invitation for fraud. You don't want it. You want one public bank, one for every state. Take the model of Utah. It's very clear that that's working. Uh, and uh, and and make sure that it's governed by the public. By the public, not by people that claim they're representatives of the public. Because you know, not like the Congress or something like that. That's just that's just privatized. Uh, power brokers uh, that are trying to get, keep their job by, 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 by always going for the lowest denomination in, in the public and then trying to speak to those and then they, and they, 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 they grab their attention and, they, and it's like a fairy tale they, they try to keep it going like if you have a like Santa Claus in Holland we have Santa Claus and uh, people don't we don't we don't mean the, the guy from Christmas but we have another one uh, 5th of December and he has just a head, a long white beard and a rope and he has uh, Negro uh, helpers uh, that, uh, that will give uh, you know, uh, gifts to everybody in Holland, put them down the chimney and uh, if you have children and they grow up then you can keep it going for a long time, that fairy tale, just by going to events where the guy shows up and he always looks the same so you know that's the same, that's what government is doing right now with a lot of people in the US. They're just pretending to be government. They're not government at all, nothing. It's a private organization. So that's, that's not the go-to place to allow to, uh, you know, uh, to allow to, to, manage, to manage your money. You should go to your state government closer and, and, uh, and make sure that they do it. But don't let it, don't just go to Wall Street and shut those offices down. There's something else that will happen then, of course, and that is that all these uh, stock markets will sh will close down. All these trading places will close down. Fine. The only reason why they are there is to make use of that money that was created by fraudulent means. And sometimes not. It's not even done like that. Sometimes it's simply naked shorts or or naked uh, longs. I'm not sure if that's possible, but uh, it's fraud. They <laughs> just like J.P. Morgan. He. That company took over the metals market around the world. It, it owns most of the copper at, at one point in, uh, in uh, 2009, I believe. It determined the price. It determines the price of oil. And that's the whole strategy. They say, well, we make a market. We own the market. And then we can determine the price so we can get it because we can create the money to buy it from the market. That's uh, that's basically uh, that's the strategy. That that why there should be global markets is because they are a an instrument in order to uh, to make use of the cash, the money that's worthless, the value uh, fiat currency. And then what you basically do if you give that fiat currency to the to the seller, he goes around the world and and offers it to all the real economy people uh, to buy stuff. And all these real economy, uh, economy people, they suddenly have to hand over their stuff for, for new money, money that comes out of nowhere. That's also fraud. So you don't want to have this market. The World Bank actually made a report where they described what they thought about the food world food market. And they were really worried about it. Of course, they were trying to manipulate it and try to manipulate it down, which is a very bad thing. Because then you get the, uh, the wrong price signal to the farmers. Because they produce stuff at increasing cost and they deliver it to the market but they don't get the money back so they go bankrupt blah 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 the whole story but what they talked about and they had a very nice word for it they say well the price transmission may may break down ar ar around the world which means <laughs> price transmission that's just to uh, to make people so uh, that uh, zone out uh, when they read it uh, it means that markets will break down there will be an Asian rice market, for instance, and a European rice market, Asian grain market, European grain market. Or maybe there are 10 different markets, just what you see with the gold price right now. You get the Shanghai market. Why it's still uh, on the COMEX in one graph beats me, because it's not the same place. That's it's been a mystery to me uh, for a long time. But that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to have 
you don't want to have somebody uh, uh, creating a market for you because that's that's just that's just you know that it's only intent is to to defraud and to and to and to and to manipulate and to favor people on that market. So you get no more uh, private money creation, and no more leveraging, of course, uh, no more uh, market making, no more markets. Uh, it won't make sure, and and the whole attitude. You, uh, I'll, I'll keep this video short. But there's many, many other advantages to just removing these people from their offices and making them shut down. But uh, um, the approach you should take if you go to uh, the, the October uh, Occupy Wall Street event with, where you have a, a real purpose and a real goal to achieve something and it's visibly uh, confirmable that you can actually achieve it because you will see people leave and abandon that place and you simply have to stay to make sure that they cannot come back. Uh, is you make sure that you're safe, that you take your precautions so that it won't affect you. Because that's what everybody does there. Everybody there is in it, is in the game uh, with the risk, but takes precautions in order to make sure that they're not affected. So shareholders, they say, well, okay, you know, if you're a rich shareholder or rich, inv rich investors, you, you must know deep in your heart that you're insane to take the risk to be there at all. But you probably uh, kind of backed it up somewhere. Take that attitude and then uh, come back and say, well, you know, last time we really wasn't sure what we're doing here, but now we are. No wonder whether it will really affect your life if, if things go wrong in Wall Street. If it doesn't, then why have that thing? You know, why have that that, 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 that that cluster of businesses there? It's all words. It's all scaremongering. There's another aspect, of course, in the whole equation, and, and I think that's the most important one. That's really the one that I would like to talk about the most, uh, and that is energy. That the, the, the big, biggest resource that Wall Street is now controlling is energy, because they're controlling the money supply, and uh, through the Fed and Bernanke and all that stuff. So pundits and people that talk about it will say, well, it's, it's horrible, uh, Bernanke are, are, is doing quantitative easing again. Um, and that's, I think, the biggest worry that there might be. But I don't think it will. Uh, you know, the oil traders will be there, and they, I think, much rather will be dealing with real people in the real economy on the ground than with people in Wall Street. I, I, I just don't have an idea how Wall Street is uh, actually uh, able to or trying to supply the US uh, continent with fuel and companies with fuel. I'm not sure how, how that is done. But if they're not there, then these companies will like the fuel, they can still produce the products. You know, what what's what is Wall Street trading in return for fuel that these private these individual productive companies cannot be trading on their own. Uh, you know, and that would you no know, they would be trading the stuff uh, that they're producing in return, let's say a part of it in return for oil and other other things that they need, if they were not owned by Wall Street, if they were not in debt with Wall Street, which is a result of another, uh, let's say, uh, history, uh, tradition of, uh, of, of collusion. Last thing is, of course, it's very easy for a, a private bank with the right to leverage money to put other people in debt because they have more money to loan out than they actually need to have to do that. So they're always more uh, liquid than anybody else, so they can borrow you money that they don't own. That's the whole key. And if you stop that, uh, if you just make sure that they stop doing that, that's the whole point why you should go to Wall Street. <laughs> you shouldn't go there to get their attention or to make them listen. They don't. They have a company there. It's like a building. It's like they go there every day and they make lots of money and they have a nice life with it. They're not going to stop doing that because you, they see somebody in the street saying, stop doing that. That's not going to work. Wake up. You have to stop doing, stop them doing that. It's an active thing. But uh, I hope that uh, helps and, uh, and good luck. And then the next video will, will be better about the occupation of Wall Street.